<laughs> Hello friends. Uh, back again for another um, episode. <laughs> what we have here is a uh, well basically just uh, two gyroscopes. Uh, these are ceramic magnets, uh, donate, donut uh, shaped ones and um, we have the whole thing uh, spun around by a third electric motor right here each gyro has its own electric motor and uh, basically this is just um, I'm just trying to uh, see if I can create an anti-gravitational force um, because it, uh, you know, it's pretty easy to do really, I mean, this is how you, you do it, um, yeah, uh, the problem right now that I'm facing is, um, basically just, uh, too much vibration, and, um, also that, uh, I'm using a, um, a balance, very crude, um, scale here uh, and the problem is that probably the, um, the anti-gravity uh, is very small you know the effect is very small with these gyroscopes uh, you know maybe only one or two percent uh, weight reduction so my balance uh, can't really show me um, tiny weight differences of that um, scale so Hopefully, uh, I'll, be, I'll be able to get a digital scale at some point, a very sensitive one. Or, uh, if I can increase the speed of these gyros, um, you know, the, the anti-gravitational force will be increased, so it'll be easier to, um, to measure that. Yeah, so, anyways, um, with this particular device, uh, the main thing I wanted to show today was um, the fact that uh, when I turned it on, um, these gyros actually uh, almost stop when I turn on uh, this motor here, um, which is a bizarre uh, phenomenon. I I can't explain that uh, within um, conventional uh, understandings. Um, hopefully, someone out there might have little bit of insight into these matters and can uh, tell me what's going on here. <laughs> so here we go. go. See at this point I'm spinning the whole apparatus with this motor here and uh, as you can hear the vibration has stopped. What has happened is the two gyroscopes have more or less stopped their spinning and uh, you know I I can't explain uh, why like why what is happening that is causing them to slow down. Um, you know, I can only guess, but I'll turn off this motor here and the main arm will slow down and you can hear that the gyroscopes will actually begin to increase their speed because they're no longer being spun around on a second axis. See, there we go. Turned off this motor and if you'll hear, see there they are, coming back now. They speed up when they're not being forced to spin on this arm. When I turn on this 
this quarter once again. And voila. The noise has almost completely disappeared. The vibration has eliminated itself and the, the gyros have uh, slowed down. I mean, I'll turn it off completely now. Oops. So there you have it. Um, what I think is happening is that uh, these gyroscopes, um, when they spin, uh, when they spin up, they create some kind of etheric um, anchorage, if you want to call it that, within the uh, within the background. Um, uh, etheric field or zero point field if you want to call it that and so they're anchored there in that um, in that vortex of etheric energy and when when I engage this motor and begin to spin them there's resistance within the etheric field there's um, there's this uh, I don't know negative uh, tendency and um, basically it's a resistance which slows down the gyros almost to a stop. Even though electricity is still flowing through the motors, they should be spinning at normal speed. But they don't. And um, that's my theory basically. Uh, if anyone has any other uh, things to add, I'm all ears. So, thank you very much. Goodbye.